Our plan for implementing autonomy at Bull Run starts this year with a lot of planning and, and really getting prepared, really trying to do a lot of change management training, trying to get our folks ready for the technology when it comes on site, and then ultimately converting all of our 777G trucks over to the autonomous solution and installing MindStar. And then ultimately we'll have blue lights on and have autonomy running at Bull Run. For over a hundred years, Luck Companies has defined themselves as a people-first organization, leading the aggregates industry in innovation and forward thinking. Today, they continue to build a legacy rooted in their founders' core values. Leadership, integrity, commitment, and creativity. When I think about our hundred years, it really comes down to one thing. It comes down to our people. This company was founded on the fact that we care about our people, we take care of our people. We want to create an environment where our folks can grow and can achieve their wildest dreams. Located on the outskirts of Chantilly, Virginia, Lux Stone crushes around two million tons a year at its flagship operation, Bull Run Quarry. Bull Run has partnered with Caterpillar to tackle what will be a game-changing innovation for both companies. The first autonomous haul fleet in the aggregates industry. When we thought about autonomy and we thought about who to partner with, Caterpillar is the industry leader in autonomy, and they've been doing this in large mines for over 10 years. They have more success and knowledge and have learned more in this space than anybody else in the industry. So that combined with just the deep relationships and the longstanding history that we have with Caterpillar, you know, we really couldn't think of a better partner to work with. And we feel really fortunate that Caterpillar selected Luckstone to be a part of this project. Autonomy at Bull Run looks like the four triple sevens being converted over to the current Mindstar solution, then we'll work as a partner with CAT to understand what that looks like going forward in the quarry space. Caterpillar has relocated Tom Smith here from Australia, someone with a tremendous amount of experience in this space that we have learned to trust. So we're already starting to find this dance between one another that's gonna get us to the end game. I was incredibly lucky to be involved in our first commercial site in Australia and seeing how far we've come in the last 10 years. It's sort of like that again for me now. However, it's a completely new industry in a new region. So we're able to take the current value we're providing to large miners to much smaller sites. Bull Run is one of Luxstone's largest sites, so I made a really good fit to have a site with larger volumes and four trucks ready to go. The goal for Luckstone is to make autonomy successful in the aggregates industry because it makes the entire industry better. We've been working a lot with the CAT network team, trying to identify what network will deploy at Bull Run to support the MindStar infrastructure. We have just implemented Edge here at Bull Run to really understand not only how the trucks are performing, but what other activities they're doing before we implement the command for hauling solution. We're going to be implementing some of our other building block technologies like terrain for loading and fleet. So what that does is it helps the site here get used to technology, but we're also building confidence in the loader operators in how to interact with that terrain panel, how to pick their files, how to operate the technology before then jumping into command a few months later. Throughout the extraordinary process of automating their haul fleet, Lux Stone is committed to never losing sight of their most critical asset, their people. So one of the big things that we're doing with our people is to get them to understand that we're not using this project to minimize our workforce, but to open up opportunities and, and open up gates for them to grow in the company. We're able to help upskill their training team through Train the Trainer. We're able to help onboard the dealer to make sure that they've got the right skill sets and the right timeframes involved. We're looking at slightly different roles here. So we're going to be giving them slightly higher duties. So we're identifying those areas now through site assessments and through engagement daily here on site to work out what we need to do to actually make sure we're going to be successful from day one and onwards. 
We're really excited about what it's going to do for our folks. First and foremost, safety. As we know, operations in a mine site, we do all that we can do to keep it as safe as we can possibly make it. It's going to remove the operator from potential hazards as simple as climbing on and off the equipment or lost controls near misses where you may have something potentially collide. We also definitely see productivity as a huge gain through autonomy. Just having that consistent operator every cycle of the day, not getting tired, not stopping for a break. We've seen it in our processing plants. It's like having your best operator run the plant every day under autonomy, and we expect the same results with our hauling fleet. It also is going to help us overcome the labor shortage that we've seen. It's hard to hire good talent. You're able to offer people other opportunities than just driving a haul truck. They can learn to use MindStar. They develop other skills. And I think it's going to make us more attractive to people that maybe wouldn't have looked in the mining industry for employment. For us to be one of the first quarries in the world to adopt the autonomous hauling system is very, very special for us. It's exciting that it's not a decade from now. It's right on our doorstep. And we all have to hold hands and go down the path into the future together and trust the people to our left and our right are going to make this work and take care of us. When I think about our next 100 years, it's hard to say exactly what that's going to look like, but it's going to be an environment where folks are incredibly committed to one another. They want to grow, develop. They want to be the best version of themselves. And we're going to keep pushing the industry and pushing our company to innovate and be different. And I know there'll be challenges, but I think we all have a ton of optimism that with our relationships and how committed we are to the project, that it's going to be a success.